I will not hesitate to describe it this way, whether they know it or they don't know it. But their hatred and their uh, conviction that such a government which has independent policies should not rule Syria has led them to follow ways which are against the Charter of the United Nations, which are direct support to uh, uh, armed uh, elements, uh, and which directly or indirectly are linked to Al-Qaeda. This was very clear to us from day number one. The other day, President Assad was on the TV talking about the prominence of uh, Al-Qaeda supporters in the, the opposition movement. Isn't it the case, though, that the actions, the harsh crackdown of the Syrian government has created the conditions for jihadists to flourish here? These jihadists were there inside Syria. We were fighting against them. We handed tens of them to the Iraqi government. They cooperated together in Syria, in Lebanon, in Jordan, and in Turkey. So, there's so where they, they were working together. This is not a new phenomenon for Syria. But you have, though, had a very tough response to the uprising against you, including, the Americans have said, that you were using Scud missiles to attack you... civilian areas. I'm asking you, did, this it, was a big did that happen? This was a big lie. You didn't use Scud missiles? Uh, uh, look, I w don't want to reveal what we used, but we did not use them against civilians. But it's Never. Not, it's, but not, it's the, not a precise weapon, as though, is it? The, the it's other, hard to direct it accurately. Okay, these are, I mean, uh, all weapons are like this. Do you believe you're winning the war? We shall win it. We are winning it. Yes. Why not? This, you, is, you, this you, is a war against terrorism. And we believe the international community, all countries of the world, have to support us.